So this is part three of Green Hell, and I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. Get out of here, stuff at the top of the screen. Oh well. It's not a big deal, unless it is distracting. I think I'm going the right way, but I'm really not sure. I should have just hopped on the last video. Check. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Obviously, I am going the right way. And I think we're in a good enough place we can auto smash these guys. Especially because there's only four of them. You know, Nami getting a crit helps. <laughs> we took one damage and then healed three. So it's pretty cool. All right. Smoke you, archers. You know, I've actually never seen Fifth Element all the way through, but that's that's like a line that stuck with me. Like when my cousin was watching it years ago. When I say years, it's probably like 15 years ago. Um, Yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know what kind of police are looking for his neighbor, but they look. He looks through the peephole and sees it's them. And he's when they knock on his door, he says, "Oh man, I just killed a fly on the back of my neck. Hope you heard that thwack. Now it's in my <laughs> freaking ugh." Sorry, this is probably super distracting, but I knew there was a fly behind me. I could hear him, and then I could feel him. I slapped him, and I'm wearing like an overshirt. And there he is. All right. Sorry. I hope that was entertaining, if nothing else. All right, let's keep smashing this dude. I wish I had that guy in my house so he could have just eaten that fly. I assume those things would eat flies, considering they, they chew on people. All right, a viper crystal. I think that's the kind Flick would use. It's like one-handed swords, strengthen up or something. Sudden death for one-handed sword. Yeah, so that'll be your flick. Like most, pretty much anyone that uses a shield. So now we're heading back and it's like, hey, Shen, guess who's back? That was a cool thing to say, right? Godspeed, my lady. All right, so Raud is angry. He was slowed down by the crowd, but obviously he had enough troops to kill the citizens or whatever. I saw in, uh, I was in the Reddit of Sukoden and someone was like talking about the bad guys that are generals and other parts of the Highland Army. And they're like, I guess Raud's a bad, they said like Raud is an arguably bad guy. And it's like, he's absolutely like the worst. He's a careerist and he's willing to kill innocent children that he's supposed to be in charge of and protecting for his own career advancement. He's probably the worst villain in the game. Like... Luca Blight is a is a monster, obviously, but at least he's not like pathetic. <laughs> They're both super evil, but if I had to say like who's a worse person, I would say Roud. But by a by a hair. That's really all it comes down to is like the pathetic versus uh monster. <laughs> it's just like pick your poison, I guess. Okay, so, you know, I I mentioned in the last video, I don't, or maybe it was two videos ago, I don't like the Green Hill mission. There's no boss, and you're just like, that's why it was just fine to bring three people. I knew that, like, once Flick was caught up in levels, there was no real challenge after that, honestly. I say fine, but I also was, like, relishing the challenge like that's part of why i wanted three people to create some level of challenge maybe flick will eventually go down to a knee that's all i can think could be the real the closest thing to a conflict um yeah honestly nanami might be closer to taking a knee but she keeps healing eight so like yeah maybe she'll take 40 damage but she heals eight so and flick takes 40 damage i don't know the math's there don't worry about it All right, you're going along, you're going along. Your kids are in the backseat. They're like, I want to use the bathroom, Daddy. Sorry, I don't know why I started quoting Tommy Boy. Uh, probably because it's awesome. I think there's a treasure down here. Are these things called Maumers? That's a stupid name. They didn't even go just now. M Monwer. I think that's worse. 
By the way, just a little follow up on the fly that was on my neck. You're probably thinking, geez, Brett's a ninja. But it turned out it was a, a beetle. <laughs> so, and I know that because it didn't kill him. It just, uh, I saw him on the ground and I was like, all right, see you later. Because I can still hear the fly. So, all right. Um, I guess I'll just keep beefing up my boy Flick. So he's wearing toe shoes and two fur capes. That'd be a pretty cool Halloween costume. Speaking of Reddit and Halloween costumes, I saw a really good, uh, there's a woman that did Flick as a cosplay and her boyfriend was Victor. Or was it the other way around? Yeah, she, sorry, she was Victor and he was Flick. And I just love the idea since they're boyfriend, girlfriend, just to, like, if you were to walk in on them, like you see uh, Flick banging Victor and just be like, I knew it. All right, Silver Hat's pretty great. Do I want to give it to Victor? Let's say yes. I should have given him headgear either way. It's better than the half helmet. The only benefit to him hanging on to the half helmet is later on. Uh, more Anyone can wear headgear. I think that half helmet is like a, maybe like a third of people can wear that. Maybe not even. But either way, Flick now has a silver helmet. Also, I feel kind of weird that I was just talking about, like, what if I walked in on strangers having sex? But whatever. That's what uh, putting yourself on the internet's all about, right? Wow. You know, sometimes I find it surprising that Nick Cage isn't evading more attacks. Frankly, I feel like getting sucked up by a plant is, like, from a evasive maneuver standpoint, a lot more embarrassing than like bullet seeds being shot out. And I'm sure they're not fast as bullets, but it's still just, I wouldn't see that coming is all I'm saying. I'm gonna let these goobers go, they're a waste of time. I'm a little insulted though it said ran away instead of was let go easily. I remember there, there's so many runes in this game that I'm like, that just sucks, I don't wanna do that. Transfer status to others, that's your teammates. Is that, I mean, does it go to the villain? Cause if so, that's fine, but like, it's like, oh, you poisoned me? Nah, Flick's poison now. <laughs> like, that's not great. Maybe I'm, I've got that wrong, and if you have some kind of protective spell, it goes to everybody. All right, so we can't let our guard down. We gotta keep looking out for Highland soldiers. Pelika around the corner knows that Joey's there. She's excited. I know I bring this up every time. That always bothers me that Pelika's just like, got a six cents or Jedi skills or whatever the F it is. All right, jo Joey's like, oh, hey guys. And I'm not gonna give him the, I'm not gonna dignify going, Wh why are you? So at this point, Joey's like, hey, listen, you guys have no chance for your personal safety. I want you to relinquish leadership and run. And Joey's like, sh or sorry, Nick Cage is shocked by this. And he's saying he will not let uh, Luca have his way, but it's like, yeah, well, without me, well, I don't want to spoil anything. I think you have to say I can't just run away. So we can sit here and have this nobody is saying anything conversation. Pelika's going to be like, I joke, but it doesn't happen. She's almost speaking. I guess that's the long-term effect of her going into shock. Pursuers, run! Who says pursuers? All right, I'm just gonna say let's go, Nanami. I think otherwise Flick drags you off. Pelika, you can stay. I like that you can't see Joey or Nanami in Nick Cage, but you still see her like stress bubbles. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Pelika, you could stay with Joey. That's fine. You're not like contributing to anything. I'm sure you'd be safer there. Because, like, yeah, uh, absolutely you'd be safer. The Highland Army is the advancing, more powerful army. They're not in as much danger at this point in the war. So, like, absolutely let that child go to Joey. You like how I go back and forth of, like, let's keep Pelika safe. You're like, just get out of this story. I don't, I'm over you. Okay. I think it's the whole, like, ninja thing that I keep bringing up that bothers me. Let's hurry to Good Name Castle, Nick Cage. 
All right, so we escaped Green Hell. Meanwhile, Joey is being snuck up on by Commander Rao, and he's like, oh, hey. Uh, no, I didn't. Did you see any anyone run by? And Joey's like, nah. But this guy's like, oh, I totally saw. And uh, so Rao's pulling rank here, saying he's going to tell on him, because of course he is. And Joey's like, well... I uh, I guess I'll let you go. But then Roud and Colgan are like, hey, we're respectable members of the Highland Army, and we didn't see anyone either. Which is a pretty good move, because like... Yeah, surely Seed and Colgan hate Roud. <laughs> so they are... They're lying on Joey's behalf to discredit Roud... And they also hate Luca Blight. So that's kind of cool. Because he's like, why? We love Highland. It's our wonderful country. We can't let it be destroyed by Luca Blight. So they are telling him, like, listen, we know what you're up to, and we want to help you. We are pledging our loyalty to you. Loyalty to you. Loyal to you? All right. So they want to enable Joey to take over and make him the more powerful force in the Highland army. So apparently we just walked out the front door. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Uh, I wonder if I can. Yeah, let's go north. Because I think I can actually recruit again. Oh, run away. No way. No way, hags. I guess that's a little bit of a... What do you call it? Hot Fuzz reference. In Hot Fuzz, when he first shows up at the hotel in his tiny town that he's going to be staying in, <clears throat> there's a woman doing a crossword, and um, I actually can't remember what she initially says. Oh, man, that's going to actually bother me. But um, she's sitting there doing his crossword, and he says... Hag, and she goes, beg your pardon. And he explains that he was finishing one of the crosswords, which was like an old evil spirit or something that. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm describing this beautifully. The point is, Hot Fuzz is great. You should watch it ASAP. Even though Shaun of the Dead is more of a Halloween movie and we're coming up on Halloween. If there's zombies in a movie, that counts as Halloween, right? Also, I love that Flick is apparently slower than these hags. Oh, uh, these hags were carrying a chick. That makes sense. All right, let's go ahead and do that. And also, like, they kind of put a hurting on them, but it's fine. They'll be fine. I actually wish I went east first. It's not too late, but I've already started going this way, so... Hopefully, they have a crystal ball for me to buy... I actually don't remember if I've hit my threshold of the 50,000 I'm supposed to have. Oh, ragged one. They're not called hags. Three ragged ones. Ragged bunch, even. Rabbit, ragged couple bunch. When I used to pedicab, I would talk to strangers like a crazy person using the word folk and bunch and y'all couple bunch. Okay, Wakaba. There she is. Would have been great to have her on that last mission. So, looking for strong fighters. And you can say, how about that guy? And she just walks off. You don't want to do that. So you can say, why not me? What I got these karate sticks. It's actually briefly, speaking of Halloween, I was considering dressing up as Ryu, his real name, not Nick Cage, for Halloween. But uh, I don't know. I feel like that's one of those things you got to do you gotta have three people, so you can do Nanami and Joey. Or at least, you know, two, so you can do McDowell. Alright, so now Wakaba is with us. Would have been great to have her earlier, but it's cool. Obviously, we got out of Green Hill fine. Wakaba has a lot of health. That's one cool thing about her. Oops, didn't mean to go into the special. Alright, let's see if she can use the... Nope, no good for her. She already has headgear, okay. Do you want to wear a leather cape? It would go great with everything you got going on. 
Okay, so I'm running kind of low on inventory, especially because I was given a chick by those ragged ones, those ragamuffins. All right, let's, nope, not selling crystal ball. And the ancient texts are sold out. Well, all right. I got Wakaba though, that's the important thing. Let's go to the armory and just unload some stuff. Not hurting for money, but hurting for having enough. Yeah, I don't need a chick. They don't have any money, but they have something worth 1,500 potch. Okay, I think I can, I don't know. I kind of want to hang on to that stuff. I'm such a hoarder. <laughs> yeah, I, like I said, I don't know if I understand what that does, but I might as well throw it on somebody. I just don't like Spark. I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. I hate this one. I thought I sold that earlier. Medicine's kind of a stupid one. All right. Uh, Blue Gate. Was that one of the ones I have? Yeah. I wonder how close Nick Cage is. Oh, I can use it now. I just don't have a, a wielder in this town. Should have done that in Green Hill. I think if you go in the classroom, I'll do it for you. I don't think the teacher will do it, though. All right. Let off. That's at least better than I let. I don't know. Let off, what's that? Oh, they ran away if it's like kind of a close matchup. Let off if I have the advantage. Let off easily if it's not even close. Now it was ran away. I'm not insulted by that because those toad monsters are pretty tough. You know, especially compared to a little fig or holly rather. I know a fig and holly aren't the same thing. In fact, holly's not even food. Holly's just like a leaf, right? And you don't use holly for anything else? Decorations. It mostly upgraded from ran away, ver or yeah, ran away versus uh, let off because I added Wakaba to my group. I'd like to fight six of those. That'd be a decent fight. Six of the toad monsters. My 15 year old dog is crying at the door and looking at me cock eyed because she has. I think I've probably brought this up. Old dog vestibular disease. She's always been a whiny thing, but now she has like a, her head's always tilted. If, if you're watching this in order and I brought it up like 25 minutes ago, sorry, I just don't do these consistently enough. So Meg is like, hey, let me through. I'm an adventurer. And they're like, no, just go home. And uh, she's also like, well, I'm a trickster instead. And they're like, gadget, that's just a, a uh, big old pile of junk. And she's like, hey, pile of junk. Sorry, I was quiet for a second to see if you could hear my dog Kessel going. Rawr! All right, beat them down, Robit. And they're making fun of her because she's like, beat him up, robot. And he's like, I don't fight. I'm here to make love. Uh, yeah, so I don't think it really matters what you say. I think they're going to join you either way. And the robot is like the original Google bot because he's like, that is Nick Cage, star of Con Air. Information processing. We don't even have robots that walk around. I mean, they exist, I'm sure. But, you know, this wooden thing that she or Jeppo, I probably missed it. It was probably Jeppo made. Uh, and she just repeated something he said, like it's new information. That's why he was like, oh, okay. We're going to join the farts army. Surely that's what he sounds like. And that's a pretty good burn that he said, uh, your actions are easy to predict. All right, so I think you're gonna join me now. Or maybe they'll ask, like, do you want us to go back to the castle? I love that no one comments on the fact that he does like a spinning, jumping, fist bump move. Okay, I just went back to the castle. Kind of a shame, because you never know. Like, I might never use them once, so. All right, definitely going to be a let off easily. I don't know why in my brain Ragged One was spelled with one G, which would have been Raged One, so it's not like 
Like if you were limited on characters, it should be R-A-G-G-D, I think. If these were like, wow, ran away, just one frog monster and it's ran away instead of let off. Anyways. Hope you guys aren't like disappointed I'm letting weak ass monsters go. All right, Bob, I think he'll like look us up and down, but he still won't join. Hey, join our group. It will never happen. Oh, you're gonna eat those words. Bob, probably a Bob Marley reference because he got cool hair like him. Um, he doesn't have any rare items. I don't know why I'm looking. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't need to sell anything to him. It's cool. Oh wait, I need to buy fried tacos. And I'm gonna buy a lot of them, because they're great. And I'm not just recommending everyone go to Jack in the Box. But also, yes, go to Jack in the Box. All right, I'm probably close to my capacity. Okay, two more spots. I could buy two more fried tacos, but it's not a big deal. I can't believe I didn't just cheat the system earlier when I didn't have that fried thing work out. Like just save it and then eat the fried tacos and make sure that I got it. Cause like it's pretty insane that I had tried it so many times and still didn't get it. I think Gene is available to recruit now. Look at that leg. Hello. All the way to her hip. She has a leg all the way to her hip. Um, yeah, join our group. I'm just gonna recruit her now, and then I'll just have her replacement put a rune on my forehead. All right, this is Yuri, and Yuri is gonna put it on my forehead. Ah, I should have had it. Should have gone back to the castle and got it done for free. You know what I'm saying? All right, Viper. I don't know. Why not? I don't know if I'll ever use it. I'm just tired of carrying all these around. Oh, we'll probably can't use it. I need to give her an actual casting one. Water's not awesome, but... Uh, you know, she has no spells. She's just like a, a whacker person. She's better than that. That's not a bad one for Rinami, actually, because I usually put her in the back row anyways. Okay, kindness drops, not great. I don't use this enough. And that's pretty good, like, because she's a survivor, so if she has a rune that's going to help others survive, fantastic. And also, the important thing is I now have a little more room. I'm just assuming that I'm going to get a recruit that'll have no equipment, so I'll be happy to have, like, the helmet stuff. Uh, I told him 300,000, right? Maybe I told him 30. I think I told him 300. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and count 300,000 potch. I assume they just, they're like pennies and they're, there's no complication in their currency, like they don't have $100 bills. Yeah, if this wasn't a video game, I'd feel bad for ripping this guy off because everyone else like, oh, you wanna set up a rune shop? Sure, you're hot and like you're a foxy lady, but I charge him 300,000. I think I can actually recruit in Cobalt Village as well. Let's find out. This little sheep girl. I don't know why they didn't name her Mary. I guess because they're sheep, not lambs. Okay, yeah, there she is. I'm gonna check first for the ancient text that you guys just think is a regular ass book. All right. Yuzu, you should have been named Mary. All right, so you can say what happened instead of, I don't care. Her granddaddy just like, here are my sheep, I'll see you later. What a bad grandfather. Now, it's important to recruit people, but the really important part is there's like two good treasures here. One of them's right here. It's a great shield. And then there's another one. There's two or three behind the tree. It's like, it'll stop me. It's like an actual treasure box. Guard ring, okay. 
So the Mangosh, that's for Flick. He's probably my favorite guy that uses a shield. And then... Man, she's pretty set with like having good accessories. So is he. Uh, guard ring, overall that's worth it. Like obviously losing two defense, but I'm not taking off his two fur capes. That's madness. Might as well give her the toe shoes. Alright, let me get you. There might be another item back here, but I don't think so. If there is, I think it's just like a plus seven defense or something. Alright, got you another sheep. Yeah, let's talk about how awful her grandfather is. He just left her with sheep, and then afterwards she's like, I don't know where to go now, because like her granddad isn't coming back for her. <laughs> I really don't know if you guys can hear Kessel or not. Is what she sounds like. So I'm still in trouble, she says, because again, grandpa just. Yep. I don't know where granddaddy is. Let's assume he's dead and not a terrible person. <laughs> that's that's a nice thought, right? While oh, the sheep tries to eat my butt. All right, and she doesn't even say anything. I know where the castle is. Oh, let's go sheep. They understand that because there's food. Pretty impressive. They just walk with her like that. Okay, so we are going to head back to Good Name Castle next time.